This is my Line 6 Helix bag. I've had it for a year today now. And we're gonna have a look what's in it for 2024. Might be a little bit of a shock to me because this is just 2023's bag. To start, you got this little. I'm gonna die every time I pick this up. You got this little compartment here, and the good thing about it is when you go like that, it opens kind of fully. It's nice. I'll pull it down because I can't. I have Fender clip-on tuner. Don't need a bit of a wipe. Honestly, a bit of a savior. Like today, I'm teaching, so I have this on at all times. The reason why I actually bought it was because there was a gig I was on and I had to go off the side of the stage for a couple of tunes in the show and it gave me a chance to actually tune up without tuning up on stage. This one has been amazing. I don't really use it at gigs unless it's like I mentioned. Yeah, highly recommend, highly recommend. Next thing I have is the Fender Mustang Micro. Can I get that to focus? No, because it's too bothered on focusing on me. There we go. It's like the best thing I've ever bought. I'm gonna be doing a whole separate video on this because it's just unbelievable how much it's changed my playing. Got amp, EQ, effects, and you can modify the effects as well. Great thing about it is you can Bluetooth your music from your device to it and you can play. So you can play wirelessly, you just walk around, put your in-ears in, you plug your headphones in on the bottom. And it's also a USB interface or USB-C interface. So you can plug into your iPad or whatever and just track, I've tracked with it. And it sounds great, it sounds lovely with acoustic. Um, some really nice reverbs in there. Also saved me a number of times. If I don't know a first dance and we press for time, we go to the venue and we just learn them on here. It's just very handy to have. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing a whole video on this because it's, uh, it's probably might be the best thing I own and the cheapest. So I've got my pick. I use Jim Dunlop one millimeters apparently, these ones. Yeah, those ones. All these are just different strings. I think um, I've got loads of packs that don't have an high E string. I think I had like a bit of a disaster during the summer where my pink Strat wouldn't actually take the E string. I have no idea why. It seems to be fine now, but I've got like three packs of strings where, you know, and I've written on them, spare, no E. <laughs> these ones, ah. These ones are full packs. The tens are for my Ibanez and the nines are for my Strat. Like I said, my picks. I've used Jazz 3s before and they're great, but I can't quite put my finger on it. No, I can't quite put my finger on why I've stuck with these. These, focus. Don't know why I use these for the longest time. They've got a bit of grip on the top. One millimeter is flexible enough for me to play funk. I find they're really easy to tuck away. If I'm pyro picking, they're great for that. And I've just dropped one on the floor. Ah, oh, I dropped two. I didn't know I had this in here. <laughs> I did recently buy a really big bulky battery pack, which is in the house. I bought this just as like a last minute thing and it's, it's dead, but it's just a portable charger, mainly for my wireless stuff, which we'll get to in a sec. Fender Multi-Tool. This thing is awesome. I've used this on like some of Miles' toys, uh, my son. And obviously it's great for guitars, setups. It's got everything you need on there for, for that. Even like just when you're at gigs and you've got like, I don't know, a jack input issue. This is just great for that. You can just adjust on the fly. And that's it for the top pocket, to be honest. Find all my picks I dropped. Oh, there's one. Okay, now we have the big pocket, which open, it's amazing this thing. Don't know if I can do it this way. So it completely folds out. So you've just got like a flat bed, which is class, but I'm gonna put it back down because it's heavy. Okay, so the first thing is actually a lead that I stole from my last job. I mean, pff, stalls a bit. A serious word. It's essentially a USB-C adapter with a plug. It was for a Google Chromebook and it was the last like normal job that I had. The idea was that they were going to give me an address to send back the stuff, ask them where, but I've heard nothing since so I'm keeping this because it's the longest USB-C lead I have and on gigs it runs perfectly to my iPad so it's been 
bit of a lifesaver to be honest. Next thing is an SM58 industry standard microphone. It's just nice to have just in case you're going to use it for whatever, for mic in the guitar amp or singing or I just got it for backing vocals. All rounder, great mic, cheap, robust, you can throw it at the wall, probably still work. Whoa. This thing is for, it's just a USB, -C, a USB, USB, and this is a dual, I can't even remember what they call these, but you know, the old school kind of thing. They split off to charge my wireless gear, and my wireless stuff, which I'll probably do a whole different video on as well, come in this little bag. I use the X Vive U4. I use the X Vive U4. Just gonna see if I can get a focus on it. There we go. I've had no problems yet. There's the receiver. It's really small. Very, very small. I've had a lot of questions about them. Um, there's loads of reviews, but I can give obviously my honest because I've used them at okay, gigs. I've just from the day that I had this, I just chucked this straight in. The only thing I did do is I run a normal cable on my side of the stage and then I run this into that cable so I didn't just plug it into the desk. I know sometimes they can interfere with the router uh, that you run in. Usually if you're on you know, a function gig, you've got a router for your, for your desk. And then I run these then, same company, um, X5 little dongle things and they haven't failed me either but similar issue with these if you're using like a Behringer mixing desk that relies on a Wi-Fi connection we've had issues before when I've run an acoustic guitar straight in the networks need to be split you need to have your Wi-Fi router just on say a 5 gigahertz because this is 2.4 and then run 2.4 just for wireless gear I, the bassist in my band now has this and the wireless in yours so we're just running on different channels and it worked absolutely fine the other night uh, the only interference i did have is of course with the router because we haven't set it up properly yet apart from that these haven't failed me i got guitar cable one i think this is a 15 foot kettle lead for power this might be the 30 foot one these are mainly just for if I play with an amp. So I've got um, a cable long enough to run from a Helix to the amp at the back of the stage. And I can maybe run wireless. I mean, usually when I use amp, I, I use all wires. Don't know why, but maybe I'll give that a go in the next, next gig. And then I've got like two extra colorful ones, just in case. <laughs> then I have my USB to like print the cable. We all know what these are if you're a musician. This one came with the Helix, so this is just so I can update my Helix and upload any presets or anything like that, or back up any, anything that I need to. They're also just very handy to have anyway, because yeah, if you've got an interface and you can't find the lead, then you know, this works. This might be one of the most important things that I have. This is for the Helix expression pedal. Sometimes it goes just a bit, little bit loose, and this is the correct size for that. I don't know what size it is. I don't even know how I got this. I think I just bought it off Amazon or something. But I have it and it's amazing. It's just worth having in you. And the other thing that I have is my trem bar, which to be honest, I never really use. My, my sunburst strat or whatever burst it is, my burst strat is hardtailed, so I don't need one of these for that. But my pink strat is still floaty, so I'm gonna keep that just in case. Then, in this compartment, <clears throat> same bit, we got space in there. Oh, I found a pick. Put that back. And in here, this might be a shock to even me. In the one that's showing, I put this there. I was doing a acoustic gig with a great artist, Shelly Ann, uh, who you should go listen to. She's got an amazing voice. A little girl had made one for Shelly, and then she ran up to me and made one for me too. I don't know how they do it to be honest, but it looks pretty cool. And I was just very touched. I don't know what these are. Instrument polish. Oh, I know what these are. Sometimes when you do gigs and you're on a big stage, they can be very poor lighting. Some guitars have inlays on the top of the fretboard that are glow in the dark. A lot of them are just normal dots. So what I did was I bought a bunch of glow in the dark dots just to keep in my 
pack. If there's any issues, I just mark them out. I did a gig recently where I was on a fairly big stage and I put them on my Ibanez for feeling good. It was only for one track, it was drop D. So I just marked it where and I just popped these little dots on and it worked a treat. Just so you can see, if you end up in the firing line of a spotlight, you know what it's like. If it's very dark at the start of a track, at least you know where you are. God, I feel so prepared with all this stuff, especially the dots. And then you have like a big compartment here. I've got stuff. Let's have a look. Okay, set list. I've got set list for Tom Ball. Ooh, a bird dog set list, which is the Everly Brothers tribute I play in, with like some star cues and stuff. And in the big part, obviously I have my Helix, which is the big size helix. I do keep my signature in it. It's my rug. I have to put out my rug. Usually I put like my capo and things on there. My capo should be in there. So it's probably my acoustic case. So I'll check. Put this down everywhere because it's a good place to put on my little knickknacks if I need it. Uh, my in ears when I go off stage. It keeps my helix from slipping from underneath me. So that's my helix bag. Um, very heavy, but it does have these straps that go on the back, um, really helpful. Just check them on your back, get going. I mean, I think the next time I play in London, I might just park outside and just sling this on my back because driving in London is hard work, as you'll see in one of my videos coming up. I've also got my um, my other bag here, which I take to all gigs. I've got tripod one, tripod two. This one was a gift from my fiance for Christmas. Haven't really been able to give it a go yet, but it's quite cool. It's got like a leveler on it. Seems really sturdy. You can wrap it around things. Like that. It seems pretty good. So this one, I definitely haven't been through in a while, so I don't know what I'm gonna find. Ooh, ring. Uh, this is a ring cover for my backpack, which is the Nordis something. American plug, boarding pass. Spare your buds. This should be my Helix bag, really. Camera battery for my Sony. A mic clip. I'm gonna put this in my Helix bag, but I probably stole this off somebody. It's not you, Matthew Fry, because I give yours back. I accidentally stole his. You know what? It sounds like a steal or stuff. This might actually be ours or mine. I just can't remember. And this is a spare camera. Mount thing. This is also heavy, this bag. I don't know what's wrong with me. Wash bag one. We've got links and sprays and whatever. Links Africa forever, baby. January's always great for stuff, I guess, because you've got an infinite supply of Links Africa. This thing is cool for like gig filming. Just clamp it on anything, can film anywhere. Another wash bag. This has got like other wash things. Um, a goodie bag from Virgin Atlantic. Uh, like an eye mask and stuff. Pseudofeds for mucus relief. Sounds, sounds about right. Ibuprofen and a toothbrush. Ooh, music related stuff. Scarlet like all purpose condenser. I also have an AKG P170, which is perfect for acoustic recordings or overheads. And I usually I take it just to have for overheads or gigs, just in case the drummers forgot them. But these are amazing. I've got another one in the house, but this is class. I might even do a video on these because they're really good. So I've got a couple of books that I'm meaning to read, Manifest, which uh, my fiance is read and she said it's really good and our drummer Adam has read. Gonna have a look at that. In fact, I think I actually bought that book for my fiance. This is a very old piece of paper. This is a set list for Vox Clever, another band that I play with over, over time. <laughs> but yeah, just a few cues and stuff. iPad, so yeah. Use this on all gigs for Behringer X era. That, for example, where you can, you know, monitor in years, blah, 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 you can put it up and down. Very handy to have. Sometimes I let Miles watch Miss Rachel on you. I've also got this book, Change Your Mindset, which is by Al A. Heinen. Al A. A. Heinen, hope I pronounced that right. Enjoying so far, would recommend. This is just a bit of a general one, but I've got like things that I've written down in here, like, uh, sorry about my writing, but mainly things for like, the Everly Brothers show, things that we do, solos, how many times around, stuff like that. We don't play the charts, so. This one is cute. Oh, I wrote like lyric ideas and song ideas in this one. If anything ever comes to me, which it rarely does, I just jot them down in this book. But I haven't seen this for a sec. I obviously have not been 
creative. <laughs> but yeah, this is a book just to put titles in, song title ideas, lyric ideas. Sometimes I can give them to people and, you know, they run off with them or whatever it might be. That's the idea with this. Just writing down any ideas. This one is sm small. These are video ideas specifically. I kind of do this on my laptop now, but I guess I can start using this for if I'm out and about. I also have this cool fender clicky thing. It goes it's supposed to hold picks, but it keeps falling. But yeah, the Nordis back. This is awesome. I've had this for like four or five years, and it's just been rock solid. Like I've been throwing it everywhere, throwing it in cars, throwing it in gigs and stuff, and it's just it's just so good. I think I've got like one tear, and that's kind of there. Can you see it there? Minor. Um, and that's just things I take to like every gig. Thanks for joining me for that. If you like this kind of video, definitely um, check out next year's. It it's probably going to be exactly the same, but maybe things will change. If you've got any suggestions for me to add to my Helix bag, um, any tools or anything like that you think will help me gig in, that'd be great. If you could like the video and subscribe to the channel, that would be amazing. I've now got a setup for a guitar lesson, so peace out.